It's gonna probably be the last one of the day. It takes so long to upload these things, man. I, I had to wait. So I can do like an hour of work, then I had to wait four hours to upload so I could delete my phone so I can do more videos. So look, I don't like so I don't like this a little bit. Just wanna pull this back a little. Cause I like it to look straight and neat. Look at that. So look what's going on here, man. If you, I don't know if you see that, but it's fucking looking beautiful, man. So the next thing, so that was the that was the first filter section. So next thing you know what we're gonna do is we are going to wire the standby switch. So it's gonna go from here, and it's gonna go, I think, to the second one of these here. I believe. Look at my paper I drew. Yeah, standby switch. It can go to any of them, but I'm going to put it on there. So how am I going to do this? This is a problem. First things first. Red wire. So it goes from one side of the board to the other side of the board. I am going to do it like, I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna run it up here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run this here. straight across this way. Um, I'm gonna cut that though because I'm gonna do my next one. I gotta cut the zip tie because it shouldn't be on there. Wasting shit. That wire went on one, two, three, four, five, six, on pin seven. And this wire is gonna go on pin four down here. You guys don't need to know what's going on. To build your own amplifier, you just gotta be able to follow instructions if you're gonna make a circuit that's already made. All right, so I want to solder them. If you're gonna redesign, if you're gonna design something, you're definitely gonna to want to know what's going on. And this video is not gonna tell you. It'll teach you a little bit. Now I'm gonna heat this one up too because I. So you can solder pin one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and pin four and five. So that being said, now I can run this one straight up. I want to hear somebody give me a, I want to hear somebody complain one time. I just want to hear them say that I'm doing something wrong. I'll laugh at them. Because they will. Well, why don't you do it like that? Or
Whoa. It's a mistake. I actually wrapped it under one of those wires, and that's not good. It's got to be free under there. All right. This time, the zip tying's for real. <laughs> it's for real this time. this one and do a bend. Yeah, we're running them. I'm going to do one right here. I keep them nice and tight. So many people fail at this part, and it's probably the best part of the whole fucking build. This is where fenders fuck up. Shit. Right. I have a low power mode on my, is my phone not charging. Come over to here and grab both wires. We're gonna do a nice 90 degree bend. Oh my goodness, look at that. Or take another zip tie and tie these wires to the original harness that we had. I shit it backwards. Yeah. Flip the zip tie around. I haven't determined what kind of bias I want to do yet, so <clears throat> we'll see. As time goes on, we'll see. Whippies, dropping them on the floor. This corner where it bended, where it bent, not bended. Keep it there. Just pull it tight. There. Come down another couple inches and do it again.
that's good for the second. So now we're just gonna come over down here and run that straight across. Come down the corner. You're gonna put a 90 degree bend. Grab it. Come up. So we're gonna be going into a standby switch now. Don't cut it too short. That'd be critical if you did that. You'd be fucked. You'd have to cut all those zip ties you just put in. You could say, Andy, why the fuck you just didn't not tell me? You're a fucking bad teacher, dude. Grab it where it bent, straight up. It's gonna go up and in. I'm gonna get my fat head in the way here. I'm sure it's gonna happen. Snip off the excess. I leave like just probably a millimeter, not even a millimeter. I leave a little bit. Now we're gonna do our last one. In the standby. So we come over. up right there. Get a nice bend on it. Do a little snippy snippy. Save your extra wire. The excess. Solder those two. Try to hold your breath. And don't breathe that solder in. Shit's probably not good for you. Can't get it. Difficult one. All right, and then we'll take another zip tie. Look at this. It's looking good as fuck, guys. Very clean. Damn it. Now one thing that you could have did, you could have ran four wires and ran, ran them through a, um, a heat shrink tube. And then when we were done, you could have just heat shrinked them all together. And then you wouldn't see all these wires, but you're really not gonna fucking see them anyway. So cut the, don't cut any wires, just cut your, your zip ties. Fold them out of the way until you're happy.
sometimes I don't like to twist. There. There we go. Make sure this wire stays up. <laughs> Now we're going to do our other wires. We're going to take another red wire and we're going to splice this. And this red wire is going to go from here to here. So it's going to go on the, this is the positive of the last cap. To the negative of the 50-50. Dave Reeves is my wiring idol. Him and Harry Joyce I think they did awesome job designing the layout of this amplifier. So when I build amplifiers, I strive to make them look like high watts. We can now solder those wires. We got three more wires to do and we're done. We can put components on and do some testing. Take another red wire. So we're going to be putting resistors. We're going to be putting resistors in here. website and look. What time is it? We got 18 minutes. We're good. So let's see. We have um, on the back side on the 1K here on the front side. So the resistor goes on the back. All right. So this resistor one is going to go on the back side of the 1K. If you look on the schematic, you're going to see that there is a 470 and a 1K. The 1K is going to be, so the resistor is going on the back side, the side towards me, of the 1K. The 1K is going to be going uh, on 10, 1, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So on pin 9, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pin nine is going to be this one. Right? And then. No, that it can't be right. Hold on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so we're gonna do this one first. This one. All 
on the first 50-50. And that one I do believe is going to go. I gotta look again. I just gotta make sure it's right there. Right uh, the one with alpha resistor goes to. Two away. It's gonna go to here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On nine. We're gonna be going on nine. So we have a choice. We can go that way, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna run it underneath this board so you can't see it. Come straight down. And it's gonna go. One away, I think. It's going to come up through here. Like that. Again, this one goes on pin number nine. The one without the resistor. Straighten it out so it looks nice. And then the next one, it's gonna to go to pin seven. And we can just put it on pin seven. Cause I think, I'm gonna make sure before I solder it though. Pin seven should go to the pin. That was the only one that I didn't remember. It'd probably make a difference if you didn't put them in right. So I'm gonna solder this one now. And that's all. I'm gonna run it over to here. So I'll bend this like so. A nice bend. Bend like that. Come in here. Give her a cut. Give her a final cut. I'll probably do another video after this one. I'm um, just to do all the testing. I don't want to do all the testing on one video. It's not gonna be much. I might just do it on this video because it's not really that much testing. Solder. One more wire. Now, shit. I fucked up. I took it off. I was wrong. 
I think I was wrong, damn it. But that's all right, dude. It'll be fine. I'm just gonna use this wire. So the ground wire, I turned, the tur I turned it around again. I took my ground lug and put it on that side when it's supposed to be on this side. But it doesn't matter to me because these are all grounded. But yeah, it does. Yeah, it does, because that's, that's where I grounded this resistor, so I'm just going to put this in here. You'll see what I do. Fuck it. Okay, I'm just going to put that in there. So this goes on the other side of that resistor on the 220 UF cap. It's the ground side. solder it this is the last wire for this I'm just gonna run it I'm just gonna run it up actually I think I'm gonna run it underneath it and I'm just gonna run it down here and run it straight up there. Go underneath this wire. I am going to cut it. There. Pull it back a little bit. Some meat, potatoes. Get it in the hole. So I was right the first time. I don't know why I changed it. I haven't built one of these in a while. So I'm just going to lift this up a little bit so that it doesn't run on it. Solder that ground. So that's, that went to the ground. That negative goes to the ground terminal. Originally had it here. It would have been so much easier just to connect it, but I changed it for some reason. I don't know why. So solder that ground. And guess what? Your filters are done. Component time. It's ought to be fun. First things first. The diodes. You're gonna find them. Seventy ohm wire round wound. Sorry, and we're also going to need. I'm going to use a five. I'm going to use a five k one watt. I'm going to use a one k five watt. Sorry. I'll talk about it when I put them in. Here we go. First diode. It's gonna go in like this with the stripe facing that way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it where we think it looks nice. We're gonna grab a hold of it. And we pull it up just like a little bit and just 
pull down and bend it down. Put the resistor or the diode in its hole, grab it here, pull it out, slide your pliers as a touch down that way, and then bend again. And that should give you a perfect bend, which it didn't. Shit. So now I gotta straighten that out and rebend it. That's not good at all. I gotta straighten it out. I fucked up. Let's try it again. Put it in the hole. Grab it and then bend it. And I don't like it because it's not really centered, but I guess I don't give a fuck. We'll do this again. Let's see if that lines up. Yeah. Two stripes going that way. We're going to do the next one with the stripes going the opposite way. And then this one, same way. Stripes going, the, the diode's going this way. All right. Next one we're gonna do is a 1K. So that 1K is gonna come off of this. It's gonna come off of pin one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's gonna go to seven to nine. So we're gonna bend this straight down. And I don't think that we could fit two of them in there. So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna come here. This around that somehow got the big old flyers out. We get the little ones for this. Try to hold it so that you don't pull it in because see I'm pulling the I'm pulling it in as I'm twisting. I don't want it to pull in because I want to keep a little bit of tension I want to keep a little bit of tension off there snip that so that was a 1k 5 watt and that one goes on 5 six, 7 and 9 wait 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 yeah. 5 and 9 so, 1K, 5 watt. The next one we do is a 470. And a 470. 
is going to go on pin, I think, this one. Seven, he's going to go on pin four or five. It's going to go on six and ten. So six and ten. So we're going to take this. We're going to bend this this way. this, then this, this way, okay, and bring it over, set it on the board, because we don't want it to float in the air, we want the board to hold it, but we want to leave a little space, going to grab it. You see me pulling it back. A little. Let's cut that excess. Then we're going to use the 100 ohmer. Go here. cut right about there put it in the hole and the next one shit cut that off a little bit it should look like that That one in one, two, three, four, five, six to six. Tighten these up a little if you can. You see, they're looking like shit a little. And solder everything that you just put in. Not this one. Don't solder that one because we got to put this our grid. I mean, there's going to be other wires. test. Now it's time to see what we've done. So this, you want to actually heat up the top of it and let the solder suck down through. On that resistor. Same thing on this side. You want to heat up the top. And you want the solder to suck down through the turret. If you see a hole, do it again. Same thing with these, these diodes.
we're about to ready to see sparks fly. This is the most stressful part of it, kind of. It's not really stressful, dude, but. This is gonna determine how much voltage we got out of our little shitty transformer that I have. I'm assuming it's only gonna be like 450 volts. It seems like it's gonna be a low transformer. I'm sitting at 700 volts AC together. We'll see. I highly doubt. It will be in the 500 range. You got a good transformer, you'll be sitting around 505 volts by the time you're done. All right, we're done. It's time to test it. That's, that's our whole complete filter stage, guys. You done did it. You did good if you got to this point. Make sure everything's off. Get your cord, plug it in. This part's very important. Once we turn this on, we're gonna have voltage. So what you need to do is this. I'll show you. We're just gonna make one real fast. We're gonna take a wire. We cut the wire. Oh, I got a great idea. Let's use our, our shitty ass motherfucking uh, um, resistors. So what I'm going to do, look, I'm going to put the ground in here. I'm going to make it so it's long enough. There's going to be a ground. I'm going to take it in here and we're going to twist it. So now it's grounded, right? And then you're gonna take a resistor. Who the fuck knows? I have one somewhere, let me see. Doesn't matter what size. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna use this one, this 10 watt, 150 ohmer. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna splice this end of the wire. Put this, twist this on there. All right, and then that's that. So watch. When we want to discharge our shit, we're not going to hold this. We're going to get a pair of pliers. Never ever touch this wire. Heat shrink it. But when we discharge it, we're going to get this. We can just come down here and touch this. And then you can actually touch your caps if you want to. And it should just discharge it if you hold it on there. We're going to do that right now. But first thing is what we're going to do is we're going to hit the on button. Make sure that it's plugged in. Okay. We're on AC. Now... We can take and put our ground in one of these holes that you drilled. And it is on AC right now. So now what we can do is we can test this. 348 volts. 348 volts. If we look here though, we have nothing. So now, just clicked around and put it on DC. Oh my God, the voltage is low though. That's fucking low as shit. See, I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that. It's only 485. It's going to be right around the 440 volt mark. Oh, well, I guess I'll, I'll keep it. So if I would have took that center tap and not used the center tap. All right, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. You guys don't know how to test this. 
So I turned it on. Look, one hand, my other hand's behind my back. Look it, if you touch pin four, it's gonna give you a DC voltage. See that? If you touch pin five, it gives you a DC voltage. If you turn the standby switch off, it still gives you a DC voltage because that's where the rectification is. We send it out from there. Watch this. When we go to here, see the voltage dropping? Voltage is dropping because we turned off the standby. But if we turn the standby switch on, bam, back up to 30, 488 volts. It's not very much. I usually like to see 550, so I'm 60 volts low. So that means the amp's gonna break up more than I want it to, I think. Not sure, but again, when you turn off the standby, see that there's voltage. Now watch, we're gonna chart, we're gonna, we're gonna unplug it and grab our resistor with the pliers. We're gonna touch. See what happened? Took all the voltage out. No more voltage. So now we're gonna test every single time you turn that amp on. Let's do it again. This is important. Anytime you turn the amp on, you're gonna have voltage. You're gonna have a lot of voltage right now. Watch just let's let's just set it there. I don't know if I can get it to stay. There. Okay. So pin five is before standby and pin six is after. So if I turn it off standby, you see the voltage dropping it's because I've turned the amp off. But if I actually touch pin four, it's gonna show still 488. There's still volts traveling through here because your amp is on. It's just not traveling through your standby. Turn it back on, back up into 480 mode. We have a 150 ohm 10 watt resistor. We're gonna turn the amp off and we're gonna touch it on pin six. See that spark? But look what the voltmeter did. Watch what the voltmeter does. Nothing, nothing. We're good. Hold on. Turn the amp back on. Almost 500 volts. Turn it off. Touch pin six. It's dead. Make sure it stays on for a second. I would touch any of these pins. I would touch pin six. I'd touch pin four. Yeah, I touch them all. Do it again. Turn it on. Got 500 volts. Turn it off. Let's just turn it on. Turn it off. Draining the caps, man. You should have unplugged it though, man. Remember, keep it unplugged. Now we're gonna check the voltages to make sure there's nothing so we don't get fried. Did you look here? Oops, sorry. We're gonna touch here. We got two volts. We got no volts. We got nine volts. Nine volts. Nine volts. Nine 
9 volts. So there's still a little bit of juice left in here. We can check our caps. 3 volts. 4 volts. 7 volts. 7 volts. 0 volts. So I'd say you're good. The longer you hold this on there, the more it's going to drain. Now just to show you, I'm just going to show you real fast. Look. Zap. You would have fucking been dead, dude. If you fucking did what I just did. If you didn't drain it. So they're drained. Everything's drained. Now it's safe to work on it. Amp is unplugged. You know it's drained. Go back to work. I'm done for the day. We got our voltage. I'm not happy with the transformer that they've given me. Severely under voltage. I mean... You guys might not think so. You might be like 480 volts. 490. It's a lot. But to me, man, 490 volts. It needs to be 540 or 550, I'm thinking, dude. Because with all the draw, I like to keep them right around 504 volts, 510 volts. I like to overdrive my, my tubes a little. I think this thing's going to be sitting around 445, I'm thinking. We're done upload these videos and um man stay safe guys dude and don't fight with the people you love it's not cool and if you do and it's too toxic then try to get out of the situation because nothing's nothing's worth hatred screaming and yelling over nothingness love people man don't hate them see it